this is Veena Prashant from digitalaccesspass.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the look and feel of the Buy Now page. Now, this is the default version. And if you're happy with the default version, then you can leave it alone. You don't have to make any ch changes to it. But uh, if you want to change the layout, if you want to change the CSS, then there is a very easy way to do that. Let's take a look. FTP to your site, you will notice that under WP Content Plugins, DAP Shopping Cart Folder, Includes, Templates, DAP Cart, there is a template uh, folder, Template 1. Currently there is just one template, so you can just go to the Template 1 folder. And under that, you will notice that there are two files, Checkout.html and Product.html. Now these two files control the layout of the Buy Now page. So if you want to change anything as far as layout is concerned, all you have to do is prepend the word custom in front of the file you want to change. So if you want to change the checkout.html, create a copy the contents of checkout.html to a file called custom checkout.html, just custom in front of the word checkout. And then any changes you want to make, make it to custom checkout.html. Do not directly change uh, the main files, the default files. Because if you directly update these files, then the next upgrade of shopping cart is going to erase your changes. It's going to overwrite the changes. So always create the custom version by appending the word custom in front of the file you want to change and then make any changes you want to it. Uh, and when then the shopping cart application runs, it knows that there is a custom version uh, in that folder. So it's going to use the custom version and not the default version. You will notice that under the template one subfolder, there is a folder called CSS and under CSS, there is a file called buy now.css. Now this is the CSS file that controls the styling of this uh, checkout page. And if you want to change anything there, again, do not directly edit the buy now.css file, create the custom version by copying the contents to a file called custom buy now.css, repent the word custom and that's it. Make any changes you want to the custom buy now.css and it will reflect on the buy now page. Uh, this concludes the customization uh, options as far as the buy now page is concerned. You will do the customization of uh, whether it's the buy now or whether it's the add to cart summary page the same way. If it's the cart summary, you would select the cart summary folder, template one. Under that, you will find several files and whatever file you want to change, you would directly create the custom version by prepending the word custom in front. And whenever a custom version exists um, for a HTML, it's going to pick that up. Similarly, if you go to the CSS folder and uh, you have a file that's called custom dap card summary CSS, then that's the version that will get picked up. This concludes the all the customization options for the dap shopping cart. 